I think I've just invented a new kind of prime. You know about twin primes, right? Primes that differ by two, like three and five, 11, 13, 17, 19. So twin primes in base 10 is a number such that uh, this number is prime. And when you increase the units digit, the least significant digit by two, you get another number that is also prime. So if this is the expansion of your first prime, then you increase a one byte two. And if this is prime, then these are twin primes. Now you have to be careful that if a one is a nine, you have to do some carryover, but basically that's what's happening. The units digit increases by two. And now I'm ready to define my new kind of prime, which I'm going to call distant cousins or distant cousin primes. And those are going to be two primes such that the most significant digit differs by two. So for example, in 11, that one at two, you get to 31. Those are two primes, so these are distant cousins, 17 and 37, 23 and 43, etc. So two primes in base 10, they are distant cousins. If this is the expansion in base 10, then to a n add two, and if this number is also a prime, then these are distant cousins. Again, you have to be a little bit careful that if a n is a nine, there might be some carryover, but this is also an example of distant cousins. There seems to be a lot of distant cousins, so this is the first few, and the list continues and continues and continues. Now, there are lots of sequences that are known for some reason, but I've looked up this kind of sequence, and it doesn't seem to show up in the online encyclopedia of integer sequences, so I think this is a new thing. Is this an important thing? No, it is not important because, well, well, for example, we don't like the fact that the definition itself depends on the base 10. So we could say that these are distant cousins in base 10, and uh, you could define the same thing for any other base, uh, distant cousins in base 2, in base 3, in base 5, uh, whatever base you want. So these are more of a curiosity. However, it seems to be pretty difficult to me to prove that there are infinitely many distant cousins. But heuristically, I think I can conjecture that there must be infinitely many distant cousins as follows. Let P be a prime that does have a distant cousin. Let's call the distant cousin Q. Think Q because of the way distant cousins are defined. Q is about twice P. Now, by the prime number theorem, Q is prime with probability approximately one over log of Q. Here, log is the natural log. Then, then that probability one over log of Q is approximately one over log of two P, and that's one over log of two plus log of P. When P is large, this is just log of P. Then, following a reasoning like in the prime number theorem, I can count how many distant cousin pairs there should be up to x, and that should be x divided by log of x squared. That's the log of x for the first number being prime, and the probability that the second, that the distant cousin is prime also, that's another log x in the denominator. So there should be about x divided by log of x squared distant cousins up to x, and if you do a better counting, there should be about 2x divided by log of x squared. And then I went to a computer to check my heuristic, and up to 1,000, there are about 219 distant cousin pairs. My approximation tells me that there should be 196. And then you can see after 2,000, 3,000, etc., that the actual number and the conjectural value of how many distant cousin pairs there should be, according to my very rough heuristic, match pretty well. So yeah, I think there should be infinitely many distant cousins.